hey you guys it's rita lynn thank you so much for coming back to my channel so today i am going to be showing you this burgundy fall look um so yeah let's just jump right into it so i already have the burgundy on that i am using i pretty much just want to show you guys how i conceal when i have a scar that i've been picking at on my face right now i'm using the la girl um Pro Concealer in the shade Orange. Um, if you are darker than me, orange is the shade that you would use correct. If you are my skin tone or a little bit brighter, you could always try the salmon color. Um, it just so happens that my orange is what I had on top of my makeup stand. So um, I'm just putting that on my face and I am lightly blotting the orange in on the place where I have the scar. And then I did a little bit under my eyes because sometimes I feel like I do have dark circles that kind of peek through. Um, but uh, just getting back to my eyes, I do have a little bit of a light shade of brown on as my transitional shade. And then I just have a burgundy slash purple um, eye on my lids. Uh, my eyebrows were already done off camera because that pretty much takes me the longest time. So right here, I'm just showing you guys that I am using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. And this is in the shade Havana. This was actually my first time using it. And oh my God, she is definitely impressed. Um, so I'm just going to take this con concealer. I'm just going to take this foundation and I am going to stipple it onto my face with my brush. Notice that I'm not doing any swiping motions. I'm literally patting this into my skin um, making sure that I get it completely covered over my jaw my nose um, under my eye definitely want to cover up that orangeness from the corrector because I don't want any of that peeking out so I'm taking my time um, just blotting the foundation into my face now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna show you um, as far as the color range in the match what it looks like so i'm gonna do a small bit on my forehead and i'm just gonna go ahead and do swiping motions and then some stippling motions just to get that blended in so that you guys can see um, what their shade match kind of looks like if you use me as a shade reference so now that i have that blended in i'm going to show you what it looks like on one side which is I believe this is my right side I want to say but so that is the coverage versus the corrector and just my regular complexion um, there's no complaints here for me as far as the foundation uh, I do know that it is winter time so I feel like this would be more of a summertime shade for me I don't think it will work during the winter time for me of course because during the seasons, your skin does change colors. So I am more on the brighter yellow side during the summer. I'm sorry, I lied. During the winter times and then, of course, during the summer times, I'm more on the tan side. So winter for me is like a toffee and then summer for me is like a caramel. But I'm pretty much doing the same thing. I'm being more careful on this side because this is the side where I actually have that little bit um, of a scar. From where I picked at my face and y'all I already know I shouldn't be picking at my face but I do so I just wanted to make sure that I um, took my time on this side and that I stippled the foundation in to make sure that I got as much coverage as possible um, I normally don't put that much foundation on my forehead but because I didn't put the foundation on the back of my hand to warm it up and to kind of spread it out I did just go ahead and um, apply the foundation directly from the bottle to uh, the brush to my face. So that is kind of why you see me doing it um, that specific way. Um, and I'm just going lightly over the top of my brows so not to get the foundation in my brows because I don't want to have to do my brows over. And then I'm just making sure this is blended out. Now, me personally, I do feel this specific shade, which is Havana, does have like a little bit of an orange-red undertone to it. Um, I'm more on the yellow side or like golden. 
so I just wanted to be sure that it um, spread and distributed evenly so that I didn't look too off color, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna take some ABH foundation. Uh, foundation stick is in the shade Coco, and I'm gonna go ahead and start my lines or my marks for my contour. And I'm doing it right at the highest point of my jaw. Um, excuse me, highest point of my cheeks and the lowest part of my jaw. You guys, I'm recording this voice over pretty late and like I'm feeling the sleep monster on me. So I'm going to take a little bit of concealer also by Juvia's Place. Um, and I believe this, don't make me lie to y'all, I'm not going to even lie. I'll just put the concealer shade in the comments um i'm sorry in the description below um so i'm just highlighting my normal parts which is under my eye my forehead down the center of my nose my chin my lips and yeah just making sure i get that fully covered now here i'm just spreading it out um this foundation is a little bit thick and a little bit does go a long way this is actually my first time using the foundation and concealer together god forbid but it took my order almost a month to get to me i don't know if that's because of the time i ordered or the time frame i ordered in but let me know how y'all's ordering is with juvia's place because this is my first time ordering ordering from them specifically and it was a nightmare I feel like from now on, I'm just going to go to like Ulta or Sephora or something and get my Juvia's Play stuff because I just cannot with the way the stuff shipped this time. Um, but anyway, I'm just taking a small brush and again, stippling in the concealer, making sure I don't have any lines of demarcation, making sure that I'm not setting any of my wrinkles or um, that I don't have any creases. So I'm really just taking my time with this working it into my pores, making sure that I am covering up again that orange corrector that I use, and then those those kind of dark circles that I told you guys I think I have. Um, just trying to cover that up. Gonna hit my chin a little bit. Excuse me, guys. And then um, just making sure that it looks really flawless, that I have that photo finish look. Gonna get some attention to my forehead here. Making sure that I spread that out the way that I want to. And then I am just gonna take it up a little bit into that contour shade, that brown, and just kind of even it all out. So I wanna make sure that I have a very balanced and smooth blend. So now I'm using that same brush to smooth out my contour just gonna chisel my face up a little bit but it's also going to add some some depth and some definition back to my face um, I'm pulling my contour upward so that my face doesn't look saggy anytime you do a contour and you start to move your contour downward it's gonna make your face look saggy it's gonna make your face long and the whole reason and the point behind doing contour is to make your face look chiseled, make your face look thinner if you so desire. So just make sure that when you're doing your contour that you're not pulling your contour down. You either want to do back and forth windshield wiper motions or you want to blend the contour up. Um, only time you want to do it downward is if you're trying to uh, make your chin look a lot slimmer or chiseled than what it is then you'll want to do a downward motion. But other than that, um, I would just say stick to circular motions, back and forth motions, and just make sure that you're blending everything together so that you have um, a flawless finish, no lines of demarcation. So I'm just kind of pulling my highlight into my contour just to even out my skin tone. I have no idea what I'm doing right here. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and set that. Y'all, that really didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to be, you know, but it wasn't. And so, yeah. 
Um, just getting the setting powder in there. Again, just being really careful not to crease anything or set any creases. Gonna do my chin. Okay. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm satisfied with that. Dance moments. So I'm just gonna spray my face with some of the Mario Badescu's um, Rose Water Setting Spray. And this is just to kind of help my makeup be just a smidge more dewy. Um, I typically like for my makeup to be, be in between dewy and dry because sometimes I feel like I have combination skin, but I know for sure I have dry skin. So I don't like feeling like a snake in the face. So Mario Badescu it is. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of my MAC blush this is like one of my favorite blushes for fall because i feel like it's just right on point like it's not too pink it's not too purple you know it's just right like it's a really good fall color um this blush is sweet as cocoa which is one of my favorites by mac um, my other favorite is what is it? eternal sun i think that's one that i religiously wear out during the summertime so um, I'm going to take, again, the ever trustworthy NYX Epic Ink Liner. And I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. Now, I am going to get quiet here, guys, because this is the part that will make or break your look. Like, eyeliner is the devil. If you don't know what you're doing. So, I'm just trying to take my time here. Wing it out. Make sure that all my lines are connected. Um, make sure that I'm filling in all the gaps. I'm not leaving out any marks. And then just making sure that the lines connect and it's as slim or as thick as I want it to be. Right here, I'm doing flicking motions. Um, flicking motions because it will make the line um, a lot thinner than your, your front line initially. So doing those flicking motions is going to give you that sharp end to the wing that you really want, okay? Now when you're applying a little bit more pressure, it's going to make the wing wider. So flicking motions will make the wing thinner and then pressing or press motions will make your wing um, thicker. You got your back at the waist in. So again, just taking my time. Making sure that it's how I want it to be. And then doing the exact same thing with your other eye. Now, um, another tip is that if you are more dominant with your right hand, I would say start with your left eye first because you're more likely to make your left eye look like your right eye and vice versa. So I don't know if that's helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, definitely use your dominant, um, do your dominant side last. I didn't do that in this instance, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to keep it moving like I did. All right, you guys. So now I'm just trying to decide on a lip color. And because we are in the fall months, I do kind of want to stay true to like those fall colors. So like the deep plums and the browns and the hunter greens and the mustards. Like those are colors that you guys are going to see often because they are fall colors. Um, not only that, but they are really neutral. So meaning anyone could typically wear those colors and it look great on you. Like. It is so hard to mess up neutrals. I can't even explain to y'all. It is so hard to mess up neutrals. Anywho, got my lips lined with that um, NYX brown liner. And I am at this point gonna go ahead and use my Milani. Oh, I lied y'all. I'm putting my lashes on child. Y'all go. I'm not sure what lashes these are. 
Um, just a couple of uh, weeks back, I ordered maybe I think about I don't know, 60 pair. No, 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 it's probably 40 pair of lashes. Um, I'm not sure what style this is. Again, I'll put it in the description for y'all. But um, I ordered them from Amazon because it was way cheaper. I think it was like two bucks. Might have been a dollar and some change. Um, but yeah. I'll put it in the, in the description. So yeah, just going to go ahead and throw on my lipstick. Now this lipstick from Milani, I do think it is actually meant to be like a lip stain or a, a matte lip because of how quickly it dried um so if that's something that you guys are um into i would definitely say check out milani for your lip needs so i'm just trying to wait for it to dry what i found when i'm working with matte lipsticks is that trying to blot actually doesn't work it makes the situation a whole lot worse so what i found is that i can do my bottom lip kind of set it and forget it and then i can do my top lip so yeah girl yes Oh my god, I'm loving how this is coming together, y'all. Come on now, looks. Come on, looks. Alright. So I'm making all All right, so I think I like that pretty good. Now, um, baby girl. So what I did, I know that looks crazy, guys. Now what I am going to do is I am going to add my highlighter and my contour. All right, you guys, so um, just gonna finish up here, putting on my lashes, the lash glue. If you guys wanna see um, or wanna learn how I put on my lashes, if that's something you need assistance with, comment down below and let me know so that I can make a tutorial for you guys um on how i do my lashes Alright guys, so next I am going to just do a little bit of highlighting. So I'm going to do under my brow bone, bone, my cheeks, nose, and my chin. All right, and so I'm just gonna do the finishing touches, you guys. And then, of course, I am going to do something to my hair because I look super crazy. But um, yeah, this is pretty much my purple-ish burgundy look for the fall. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video if you found it helpful in any way, shape, form, or fashion. 
um but i really enjoyed it i enjoyed this look um yeah oh guys also i have started a blog so if you want to learn more about me you need a little bit more information about who i am what i do where i come from etc you can always log into the blog and get your read on um it's totally free so no excuses blog will be posted in the description below as well and um i'm just gonna do a nose contour and then i am going to curl my hair and that is pretty much it i love you guys stay beautiful and peace till the next time